Hi guys, welcome back to The Crafty Home. If you are new here, my name is Tanya. Today we are going to make bag tags. You are probably wondering what that is. They are a three and a half by two and a half laminated luggage tag. I found them several years ago. I uh, can't even remember how, but I will link them in the description box below. I use these for all kinds of things. So for example, luggage tags. We have used them for sports bags, such as volleyball, karate, cheerleading. Today, we're actually going to be making some volleyball tags. And I've also used them for basket labels. There's a ton of uses for these. So I'm just going to show you how I design them and put them together. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is actually design your tag. This can be done multiple different ways. Here I am using Silhouette Studio, but you don't have to have this program in order to design this. You can do it in something as simple as Microsoft Word or even Photoshop. Or if you don't want to work on the computer to do the whole thing, you could actually take scrapbook paper and use that for a background, type out names, cut them, and use them on top of the scrapbook paper. So here I'm just going through and designing the labels the way I want them. I always do a pattern backdrop because I think that it looks the nicest. And then I'm just creating a frame that I put on top of that where it will hold the name of the player, the number of the player, and then I will make a backside that will have the team name. So there will be two sides to each tag, one front and one back. Now that the design is finished, you want to print out all of your tags. Once those are printed, you're going to cut them. You do want to try to get as close to the edge as possible and keep it as straight as possible as well because these sides will lay on top of each other and you don't want the backs of them to show through. So here I'm just carefully cutting as straight as I can to make sure that these fit together well. I have 10 tags to make I actually have 20 sides to cut out one front side and one back side for each tag these are the laminating pouches that we'll be using to make the tags they're considered luggage tags but you can use them for all kinds of things they come in a count of 100 and they come with the plastic loops to attach them. They also have a pre-cut hole so you can put the loop into it. And they just open up kind of like an envelope so you can slide your design right in. to be careful to always have the front part of your tag on the same side when you're putting them in. Here I actually did the back side on top and then you'll see me kind of look at it and go, oh wait, that's not going to work because it will look different than all the other ones. So I'll flip it. But you do want to just make sure that the front side of your tag is always on top and the bottom side of your tag is always on the bottom and that you're putting it in the same direction every time.
I do want to mention that when you design your tags, you do want to make them smaller than the actual laminating pouches. The laminating pouches themselves, I believe are two and a half inches by four inches. So I designed mine to be two and a quarter inch by three and a half inches. And that three and a half inches is to account for the slot that's there to put the plastic loop through. Next comes the fun part, the laminating. This is an inexpensive laminator that I just got from the store. You can pick these up at Staples, at grocery stores, on Amazon. I can link some options below in the description box. But all you want to do is take the tags, since they are self-laminating, you just have to slide them through the laminator and they seal themselves. Because they come out still hot and you don't want them to bend, you do wanna take them out and lay them on a flat surface so that they cool flat. Now that they are all sealed, it's time to add our plastic loops. I like to take the bottom of the loop and come up underneath the luggage tag, and then I take the top of the loop and pull that over the bottom of the loop, and then I pull it tight, and this gives the best look for your luggage tag. Okay guys, that is how I make bag tags. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do upload new videos twice a week, every week. So if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.